to Gather Around the Table with Ashley. I'm your host, Ashley Berkowitz, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a vegan black bean soup. It's found in our fall-winter 2021 version of our Season's Best Cookbook, and you can find it on page 22. To get started, we're going to start by prepping up some veggies while the oil heats up in our beautiful enameled cast iron Dutch oven. And then later on in the recipe, we're going to be um, pureeing the, the soup with our brand new Flex Plus Multi Prep Tool. We're going to be using the Immersion Blender attachment um, to puree the black beans. All right, well, come on, and we're going to get everything started. Alrighty, so the very first step is asking us to heat up the oil in the enameled cast iron Dutch oven over medium heat for about two to three minutes. So I'm just going to measure the oil. Now I also want to note, um, this soup makes eight servings, but there's only four of us in our family, so I am going to half the recipe. So you'll see me doing a little bit of math. I'm a math teacher by trade in a former life. <laughs> and so I'm going to be doing some math, some fraction work as we're going through the recipe, so hopefully I don't make any mistakes. Um, but we actually only had two cans of black beans, which is the main reason why we're having the recipe. So the recipe calls for a full tablespoon of vegetable oil, but I'm going to use our petite um, measure all cup here and measure out half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. There we go. And then I'm going to get that heating up in the Dutch oven. Alright. The next step is to seed and cut a red bell pepper into chunks. So again, I have a whole red pepper here, so I'm going to cut it in half. And we will put the other half back in the fridge. <clears throat> and then we'll use this half of the red pepper in our recipe. One little tip that I love to use, and one of my friends who is a chef taught this to me a few years ago, is in order to keep things really clean and easy, easy to work with in your kitchen, you're going to want to keep your cutting surface clear. So I usually use like a dirty bowl or something that's sitting waiting to be washed on the counter um, to keep my food scraps, but I act all of the dishes are actually done because my husband got all the dishes done earlier today. So I actually just have my compost bin here. So you'll see me throwing the food waste into our compost bin. Okay, so there's our red pepper ready. And then it did call for a small yellow onion. Um, and I didn't have any yellow onions, so we're going to be using a red onion today, and I've already cut it in half here. <clears throat> and this is again just cut into chunks, so I'm just going to use my knife today. And then a jalapeno seeded and quartered, so because I'm halving the recipe, half of the jalapeno, um, and I didn't have any fresh jalapenos, so I'm just using pickled jalapenos. So those are ready here. Two garlic cloves that are peeled. Got that. And then two cups of low sodium vegetable broth. So I've got our vegetable broth here. And then we're gonna add the vegetables and garlic into the pot and cook them until they're softened and slightly browned for about four to six minutes. So while the veggies are preparing, while they're cooking up, I'm going to open up the cans of beans. And again, remembering the full recipe is for four cans of beans, but I only have two. I am going to be using our Smooth Edge can opener here. This is one of my favorite products. Uh, we use it all the time and it just takes a little trick to learn how to use it. Um, it's actually not going to cut the metal like a traditional uh, can opener would. Um, basically what it does is it's going to um, separate where the can is um, ad adhered to the base of the can. So where the lid and the base meet, it's just going to pry those open so that you don't have any sharp edges. Okay. And then you're going to use these little teeth here on the can and push the button down and that's going to pull the lid up. And there you have it. I love this for my kids. I 
know that there's no sharp edges with the can. And then I'm just gonna pour it again into a container. And then I am just going to go check on the veggies. veggies here, slightly browned and softened, and we're going to put in the broth. So again, the recipe calls for two cups, but we're going to put in one cup because we are doing a half recipe. And then the one and a half cans of beans. So we've got the vegetable broth, we've got the beans, we've got the veggies. Now we're just going to add one eighth of a teaspoon of cumin and one bay leaf. So calls for one bay leaf, so we'll cut one in half. <laughs> we're getting that. I don't know if that really is gonna affect, but we'll try to follow as true to the recipe as possible. Once the soup comes to a boil, we are going to reduce the heat and simmer it uncovered, stirring occasionally until thickened for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so the soup has come to a boil, and now we are going to bring it down to a simmer for those 12 to 15 minutes. is to remove it from the heat and discard the bay leaf. So I'm gonna go in, scoop it out there, and then we're gonna turn the heat off and move it away from the heat. <clears throat> and then we're gonna puree with the immersion blender attachment on high until smooth about one minute. So this is kind of our main piece that connect, or that connects to all three attachments. So we have a food processor attachment, we have the immersion blender attachment, which we're going to use tonight, and we also have a hand mixer attachment as well. And all of these are cordless, they are powered by a battery, and they, the Flex Plus Multi Prep set actually comes with two batteries, just in case 250 cookies wasn't enough power for you. So we're going to put the immersion piece just kind of snaps on here onto the bottom and then last to the party is the power and then the power will also be first to leave when we're disassembling everything so you see how it was just turned on there we have a little safety at the back so we're going to hit the safety hit the power and then we can power up i don't know if you can hear that Powering up faster and faster. So what we're going to do, it says to puree with immersion blender on high for about one minute. So I'll turn my kitchen timer on here and we will get going. And the only piece you have to wash is this little attachment here. Now you're gonna add in those extra beans that we set aside at the beginning, stir it up, and you can serve it with a fresh tomato salsa, some avocado, or whatever other toppings you'd like to have with your black bean soup. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Gather on the Table with Ashley. 
I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you try it, I'd love to hear in the comments below if you make it, if you made any different tweaks or changes to the recipe, or what your favorite toppings were on top of it. I look forward to seeing you next week for our next video, and I hope you're smiling.